on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So my 3D printer here has taken a bit of a back seat recently, uh, mostly in because of this guy here. This is uh, my new DSLR, uh, new to me, it's a second-hand model. But um, just trying to up my game a little on the uh, YouTube videos, improve some, some quality, which uh, hopefully you'll notice. So one of the uh, features of this is the, the flip-out screen, which is, which is great. And what I didn't quite appreciate um, when I bought the camera was that in the video mode, obviously the the mirror inside has to flip up so that the the light can uh, can pass through to the sensor in video mode, which means that you cannot use the viewfinder at the back. You have to use the LCD screen, uh, which is fine indoors, uh, but outside. Here in, uh, in in Spain, generally speaking, it's uh, it's very bright, and you cannot see the the screen very well. Now, as I say, in video mode, you need to use this screen, and uh, sometimes, if you want to take uh, even still photos at a at a strange angle, maybe you want to go up, and uh, you can tilt the screen down so that you can see it, or maybe a an interesting view from uh, from from below, so you tilt the the screen up there, and you can put the camera close to the ground and get some interesting shots that way. So um, some sort of um, hood arrangement for the screen uh, is necessary. So I thought, why not bring the old 3D printer back into use and uh, let's make one. So here we are in the SketchUp program and I uh, took some basic measurements of the LCD screen. Uh, so what we need is something that's 60 millimeters uh, high by 80 millimeters wide and just for symmetry I've made the, the back 80 millimeters high as well I think it's 70 at the front just to put a little little slope on there and um, the issue is that uh, we cannot print this easily on the 3D printer as this part at the bottom obviously is unsupported so we, we can't print across across here um, we could put in support material but that's just extra work to remove afterwards and it would be difficult because the uh, the actual uh, side panels if you will uh, are only one millimeter thick so the uh, the solution I believe is to uh, to flip this thing to rotate it and print it from the uh, from the top down as it were so here we've rotated the uh, the LCD hood that we're going to make and uh, just used the rotate tool and flipped it over. In, in this particular case I went uh, in the anti-clockwise direction so that was 190 degrees as the, the angle at the top is, is, is 10 degrees. So now we have an item which will sit on the, uh, on the printer bed and uh, obviously be printed up upside down as it were. So we'll get that exported and then uh, put it into our slicing software and, uh, and uh, go for the print. So here I've loaded the STL file into Cura to slice it for my uh, Mylan N150 printer. Uh, we can see it on the, on the build plate here. Um, one thing to note, obviously as it's very thin walls, um, it's best to put a brim around the base for it to build up onto. And I've just chosen the brim there with a width of, of six millimeters. And we can double check that by changing the view to the layers mode and then going to the lowest layer. So this is what we'll obviously print first. If we flip that around, we can see it's got a, a, a wide brim there to, uh, to start the model off. And I also like to double check these things. So having exported the G-code, I like to use a, a third party program, which is this G-code analyzer, which I'll provide a link to. And here we can see the model info, so we can double check the sizes, 
amount of filament used, uh, and an indication of how much time it's going to take to print. And uh, in the, the layer information, you can get uh, a lot of detail there. And we can get more information by just scrolling up with the slider. Obviously, there's nothing too interesting happening until we get to the top there, where we've got the, uh, the, the cutout part for it to hook over the LCD screen. So here we can see the uh, completed print and uh, let's try and get it off the bed. It's uh, come off reasonably easily. Now this part at the bottom, the brim that we've put around it, um, that will quite easily detach. You don't want to go too mad when detaching these things because it will just unravel a bit like if you've got a snagged thread on your on your jumper so these last bits will just clip off okay so so this is the bit obviously that's going to slide over the screen we hope so here's the, uh, the camera that we're going to fit it to let's flip out the screen here can see with the reflections what the uh, what the issue is. So if we've done our job properly, that should now just, just clip over the top of the screen there. And if we turn the camera on, we can see the, the display there. Obviously got a light shining directly on it, which is is not good, but uh, in the sunlight we'll try that as well. And maybe think about some method of putting a strap around around the back, maybe some some elastic or something, just to stop that happening. That's we can see that we've got the full range of, of movement on there, and uh, we'll try it uh, out in the sun. So here I'm doing a little setup to take a picture of this little kiddie's motorbike for reasons that will become apparent in a different video. So I have my camera set up uh, quite down low to get a, a, the shot that I want. And as we can see, there's uh, many reflections on the, on the screen there. So we'll just try out the, the hood. Put that on there. And we still have the reflections, but um, when you get close close up to it, the uh, the screen is actually uh, an awful lot clearer. So uh, I think it's still a, a useful addition. Uh, maybe not perfect. Perhaps some matte black paint inside. But uh, uh, it's a, a result for the moment.